late in the day, it's like 6.30 in the evening. I like coming at this time of night. It's cloudy out. It's actually cool. And I'm headed back here to where the clearance racks are. Looks like I'm getting some roses in. Got some topiaries. Mmm, okay. And it can be hit or miss here. What is this? Sanchecia, seven ninety eight. These don't look like they're on clearance, though. Although, yeah, it does say clearance. Yeah. I've never seen these. Very cool. It's an outdoor landscaping plant. Canna lilies. These actually look pretty good. Eight ninety eight. Half of that. And they got some roses. And a dracaena. Nineteen ninety eight. Half of that. Oh, we don't have much for indoor plants. Fifteen ninety eight, so half of that. I like the wow, it's really wet. I like the pot. It's a very wet Sansevieria. Is this a bromeliad? Hmm. Peperomia. Fifteen ninety eight. These air plants and these cute little Oh, well, there's a 1598. Like that. Oh, very sad looking fiddly fig. Doesn't look like much as far as clearance. Let's go look at the house plants. We've got some plants here. No? Well, they are wet, but they look a little, I don't know, sad. <laughs> the plant can look that way. They've Casa Farms, uh, Wick and Grow, Calathea Mosaica there, these are $15.98, and a little fiddly fig, and they have up here $22.98, some, uh, not bromeliads, staghorn ferns, these are the bromeliads, $17.98, these, these are, I don't know who these are by. It's Nature's Way Farms. This is a different grower. Although they do have mixed in here some of the trending tropicals. Of course, the farms. Here's some more I can grow. These shell kokodamas are cool. They even have cacti and succulents in them. I don't know if that'll live. These little button ferns, these are $14.98. And those are $18.98. The drobians. These are gorgeous, $38.98. That'll be my next orchid, a dendrobium. My Philanopsis is doing good. And I have a lot of fiddle leaf figs here, $22.98. Actually a good price for these. And here they have some more Costa Farms, the Raven ZZs. This is different. This is Nature's Way Farms, uh, um, Desert Rose 24.98. That's a good size, look how beautiful that is. Ah, they have a couple, three. Pink Princess. These are nice. 
wonder if they have that one egg Lanima. 15.98 for this egg Lanima. This is different. Look at that red stripe. Kind are you? Oh, it just says Aglanema. That's really nice. I have not seen these. I've seen the Aglanema. It has a matching name, Spadnamema or whatever it's called. But these are fifteen ninety eight. Look how much that is, and the pots are different. This is Costa Farms. This is a different type of um, plant and uh, line that they have. And down here they have a Baltic Blue. After my last one died from mealybug infestation, I have not been inclined to get a new one. Although that one looks pretty good. I'm seriously thinking about those. But, yeah, they've got three pink princess here. They look pretty good shape. And they have some plumerias here. $29.98 for the plumerias. These look like they're growing. They do well here. Lots of bromeliads. Looks like they've changed things around. I don't know what they did with all the succulents. This used to be where they had the succulents. And look at all of these ferns. Wow. It's like a wall of ferns. What is this? Oh, it's a pineapple. It's a pineapple plant. I don't see that it's actively growing. There's some ginger plants here. Look at this. $130 for these large containers of succulents. But it's got bromeliads in it. This is not a very good combination. But, okay. I mean, the uh, containers are gorgeous. And the succulents. $24.98 for the smaller ones. But the large ones are $130. That's beautiful right there. Wow. That's really pretty. Cryptanthus, Dracaenas, looks like a little money tree in there, and some aloes. So it looks like they've moved the, what they have at least, of the succulents over here. Doesn't look like much. They have not gotten in any new ones, and these look a little bit haggard, unfortunately. Look at that. That doesn't look good. I would ask for a discount if I were to purchase any of these because they don't look good. These Porto Clara Afra, but these have the larger leaves on them. 1998. Looks like they've been blown over. They're a little top heavy. 32.98 for this container here. Looks like a peperomia. Aloe, Javaria, and a Sansevieria. This one is not bad. This would last together. Okay, so we've come inside and they've really limited their uh, space inside, but let's see what they have. They have some bromeliads here. It's $44.98 in these baskets. Really big silver bays and palm trees. Oh, let's see. Doesn't say how much they are. Oh, fifteen ninety-eight for these rubber trees. I'm literally underneath a palm leaf here. <laughs> Anything to get the price. And these silver bays are forty-nine ninety-eight. Yucca Canes, 1998. Those look healthy. Wow, these fiddle leaf figs are 
$99.98. Well, they definitely look better than that one that's outside. Some little bonsai trees, ficus bonsais. $16.98 in the ceramic pot. Oh my goodness, look at these little guys. The orchid. Let's say. Oh, Phalaenopsis. It's a baby Phalaenopsis, $9.98. That's cute. You got some that are really big, though. And then the larger ones are $20.48 for the larger ones. Wow, look at this. Look at the trunk on that. A little bit of care. This would be incredible. $100, $99. Oh, here's the one I got. $29.98. I got mine for $15. I love it when I get a better bargain. <laughs> it's uh, Aglaonema Florite, I think. Of the Urban Jungle and uh, live trends this is a beautiful ruby six inch pot uh, 2198 homolomina it's also that's 2298 and the try to scan way back here it's a little bit different pot. Twenty-two ninety-eight. Ooh! Wow! Look at the water coming out of there. Oh, wow. That's, doesn't say how much it is, but oh, good luck to you. Dracenas, $13.98. I have a real pretty Maranta back here. $13.98 also. And they have a Poly, $22.98. And I think it's because it's a bigger uh, pot, not because the plant is big. We have this beautiful little calathea here. Nice little pot. $13.98. And $13.98. Pothos Pearls and Jade, maybe. And they have some marble queens up there. Golden Pothos. And then they have those same pots, but in a hanging version with some marble queens and that looks like a Rio of Brazil. <laughs> you know, what country? <laughs> Heart leaf. Synaptus pictus. I do like these. This live trends new pot. Let's see if I can see this from way down here. $16.98 for that pot. I like the uh, architecture of it. Ooh, I have one of these already, but these are cute. Ten ninety eight. We oh got the plain berry white. I love some berry white. Oh, yes, sing it. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see. This is a nice one here. It's nice and big. I do look at that pot. Oh. $25.98 for this bird's nest fern, but the pot's really pretty. They have different colors. And then they have exotic angels, the smaller pots from uh, Costa Farms. These are $5.48. And we have a lemon lime, $15.98 up there. Here's another little 
baby try to scan too. Oh, that's so cute. Here's some goniums. And some dracenas. Lots of plants. These are always good buys. Because they're good plants and it's a good price. $7.98 for this really pretty syngonium. Even the these, well, these are six inch pots. These are twelve ninety eight for the six inch pot dracenas. That's a good deal. And then you just put it in your own pot. Speaking of pots, got a nice wall here. Yeah, they are moving things around. This didn't used to be here. This is my local Lowe's that's down the street from me. Their pot prices aren't bad. Not at all. I like this. This has a lip on it already. Okay. 10.28, 8 inch, 21.98. Oh, this is nice. 17 jug planter. That's nice. I like that. 17.48, that's not bad. And over here they have more of the Wick and Grow. Now this is Trending Tropos allocation. There's a Blooming allocation dragon scale. And they've got a couple there that are blooming. Oh, this is a real nice Trubii. Look at that. That's a nice one. Now this is a little darker than the Moonlight one. I'm assuming it doesn't have a name. Is it? Yeah, it says Moonlight, but perhaps because it hasn't gotten as much sun. But it's definitely growing a lot. I've never gotten a Moonlight. And, oh, they've got a Mikens up here. And, uh, sorry, the backlighting. Mikens and a Cebu Blue hanging there. These are urban jungles. Oh, and it's way too high, I can't see the... $14.98. <laughs> managed to catch a glimpse. $14.98 on those. Another Mikens. And these are some more Ivy. Coastal Farms in the Ponytail Palms. Wow. You know, for $15.98, that is a good price for a Ponytail Palm. Because look how big that is. And it has a huge codex on it. These haven't been watered in a while. They're very light. So here, it's a smaller one. That hybrid we saw outside. Fifteen ninety-eight for that. Isn't that pretty? It's nice. Well, I think I know what I'm gonna get. Let's go so home. I made it back, friends, and look what I got. You probably figured out that I was gonna get this one, but I could not resist it. And it was on clearance. You see that black mark through the uh, the bar there? That means that it's on clearance. And I checked with the register first before I even bought it. And she said, yep, yeah, that's on clearance. So it was $15.98 regular and I got it for $7. Now this is a Costa Farms uh, plant. I'm not quite sure. I've looked on their website. I've done a Google lens on this and I cannot figure out friends what kind of aglaonema this is. There we go. I can't figure it out for the life of me. So I'm asking you guys if you know what this is. I did uh, do a Google lens on it and it, it didn't come up with anything that I found. I tried searching online and I've seen all sorts of aglaonemas, but I cannot find one that has this type of green leaf but with a reddish line through the center there see that 
and I did send a message to uh, Costa Farms through their Instagram. I sent a direct message and as of this uh, morning, I have not heard back, so I don't know what it is, to be honest with you. But I love it. Now, I'm not sure why it was on clearance. Uh, the only thing I found wrong with it was it had a broken leaf here and one loose leaf there. I found it by sheer chance. I was actually walking out from inside and I happened to catch it out of the corner of my eye just kind of sitting there amongst some fiddle leaf figs and I thought wait a minute what's this doing here and then when I, I looked at the um, at the tag I'm like wait a minute that has a mark through it that means that it is on clearance and sure enough it was I don't know exactly the name of it. All I know is it's an aglaonema and it's beautiful and I love it. <laughs> so that's all that matters to me. So friends, if you know what this is, please let me know down in the comments below and we can figure it out together. It's got very elongated leaves, not round, they're elongated and it's got green stems on it. So that gives you some clues to it. But it's a beautiful, and it's got a brand new leaf opening up right there. It's a beautiful aglaonema. I was trying to find that spathonema one by Costa Farms. I didn't find it. But this one is a mystery aglaonema. <laughs> and I love it. There you go, friends. Help me out and let me know what you think this plant is. Um, like and share the video. Perhaps somebody you know knows what this plant is. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thanks so much for coming along with me on a little evening shopping for a mystery plant. I will see you in the next video, friends. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.